Welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about pin and slot, how to set up some more motions with infusion so you can see how your designs actually move. Stick around. It's going to be fantastic. So if you're in my class via Schoology, you can download this file. Um, pin and slot and it gives you all the parts we're going to need. We're going to ultimately need three pins so we'll have to do some copying but I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to ground the mount. So the green piece is grounded so it won't move. Um, the next thing we got to do is we got to install the um, green and the blue so that they rotate around these mounting points. Um, before we do that, we need to make sure everything stays perfectly aligned in the center. This will help set up the pin and slot to work the way we want it and easily. So to do that, we first need to make sure that these are the same size. So we've used inspect to find out that, that width between these two is one inch. And if we use inspect again, we find out that this is actually only 0.9, which means there's a 0.1 difference. And if we balance that on each side, that means there's a 0.05 difference on one side, which is how we are going to ultimately um, mounted. So we go J for join on the keyboard or you can of course go up to assemble join. Um, we are going to have these as rotational joints and we are going to select the this edge right here and that edge right there and you can see it's rotating but you can see that it's not balanced so we're going to offset this by 0.01 I'm sorry 0.05 and there we go and if we do the same inspection over here we can inspect, in this case we're going to inspect from surface to surface because there is no straight line and it is also one and I know that's our, you know, we can also inspect this and shows us it's also 0.9 so it's going to have the same offset. So we're going to hit J for join. If we zoom in here and it highlights the tube and I hold down control I can select between these three points. So I want the inner point and this point and I did 0.05 and there we go now we are going to put a J for we're gonna copy this three times so I'm gonna highlight the pin I'm gonna copy and then I'm gonna come up here and I am going to paste and then I'm just gonna slide one off to the side and I can also do control V which does the same thing and now I have three pins for the three spots we need so I'm going to go J for join. These are going to be rigid joints because they don't rotate. And we are going to select the end of this pin and the end of that hole. And we are going to click OK. And we're going to go J for join, the end of this pin, and the end of that hole. OK. And J for join, the end of this pin with the end of that hole. And we'll do a flip to get it the way we want. Perfect. So now we're ready. We can rotate these to make sure they move. It does help if you kind of get them into nearly the right location. Um, it tends to kind of go the, fat, the shortest distance to put it together the way you've selected. So if you already have them close, it'll always work the way you want it to work. So we're going to go J for join. And now we need to set it as a pin and slot here. And if we zoom in now for our selecting our points, we want the center of this uh, gray rod. So it's right there. And then we're going to come down here and we want the center of the yellow slot. And it's going to show you the way it's going to work. If it's not moving in the correct axis, you can select these other axes and it'll slide along those. But it is working for us. So we click OK. And we now have a pin and slot but it will go into places that it is not intended to go so the way we fix that is we go to assembly and we hit enable all contacts and what this will do is this will fall wherever it collides like in real life it stops so I can't go any further I can't go any further and it works perfectly the gap down here if you are going to do this is very important because if you do not make a gap you can have a collision point here and it won't even rotate with enable all contacts so you have to make sure you build in those little spaces well that's how we do a pin and slot I hope you learned something 
I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.